Citizen Extra live on Citizen TV. We continue discussing this issue of uh, Dr. Rosalind Kwamboka Akombe's resignation from the IEBC as commissioner. Still in studio with Dr. James Nikal MP Seme, Ledamo Olikina, Senator Narok, Sandro Chola, political analyst, Mwende Mwinzi, former candidate in the Mwingi West Parliamentary Contest, and David Kosing, MP Pokot South. Dr. James Nikal, we had not uh, finished with you. Uh, it's your time to continue. See, yes. If at the very beginning you say this thing is not right, we are not doing it properly. We are not following the, 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 the structures we are put in place. Until that error is corrected, and you continue pointing that error, you cannot then be accused of causing everything. It is the denial and the refusal to correct the initial problem. Now, all these things that are coming, uh, starting from when we went to court, the court then said this is not done, but nobody was found culpable. Now, and, 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 and the Supreme Court judge said, if you do it the same way, and it comes here, we still reject it. it that statement implied that changes have to be made on the way things are going to be done. Now, some of the changes that will include, you may have to change people, you may have to change technology, you have to find out forms are done and so on. So those are really what NASA is talking about. Make those changes. Now we come around and say, now we can't touch people because nobody was found legally culpable. Now, in management of issues, it is not only when people are found to be criminally wrong that they're dealt with. If people are found to be in terms of management, capability, decision making, uh, a judgment, they're not doing the right thing, they can be relieved. In this country alone, just on, on, on suspicion that things were not being done, ministers were relieved of their duties. Mm -hmm. Engineer Kamau, uh, Charity Ngilu, now governor, they were, they were never found <laughs> criminally culpable. But it was felt that if those institutions, at least that's how the government felt that time, or the president, that if the institutions are to move, we have to make these changes. So all NASA is saying, within IBC, there are corrections that should be made in terms of persons, in terms of processes, and if those are done, then we are okay. Now, when we see that we are being told, go to the election, and those changes have not been made, we, 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 we protest okay. and say no, okay. that cannot be right. Let's come to this side now. Okay. Yes. Uh, Bonako Singh, yes. these things listed here, yes. uh, they have the potential of uh, actually being uh, listed as part of the reasons why the elections are not credible yes. and take this process back to the Supreme Court. Why would uh, Jubilee insist on going through with a process that uh, holes have already been poked into it? You see, in the morning to, uh, to answer that question, Although I'll respond to my colleague on the Bonikal, who are whom I served in the last parliament with, and he's a very reasonable mind in parliament. But I, I, will, I will make some, some answer, uh, questions. Number one is, you know, it's not the question of why is Jubilee going on. It, you know, we are obeying a court order uh, in the Muli on 1st of September. The court said, go for election in the next 60 days. We are law-abiding citizens. We are doing what, what we are expected to do. We are campaigning. And, and, and uh, people are misunderstanding uh, Jubilee to mean IABC. We are not IABC. IABC is an independent institution. We are, we are doing what we are supposed to do. What is going on in the Muli and the people of Kenya? NASA has shown from the beginning, even before 8, that they don't want an election. They don't want an election at all. And but, but from Jubilee's side, uh, because you speak for Jubilee, uh, don't you think that probably it would have been incumbent upon yourself to ensure that the IEBC is able to do this, uh, for, to go through this process and do you, it properly? You, you see, uh, for us what, not to what just go through a formality on the like, 26th of No, October. for example, what have we done not to, to give IEBC the, 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 the time? Are you convinced? We, 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 we've, given them, we've given them the resources that are required as government responsible. What they requested from government, we, were, we, we have given them, the government has given them. What is going on is NASA want to precipitate a scenario of going to court again. And they are the ones, look, they are saying... And don't you think you're playing along? Mm. No, we are not. We are doing what we are supposed to do. And we have told court already that please be aware of NASA doing whatever they want to do to come back to court. So that now, court, where NASA went, are aware. let me also take this. Look at what Moshima uh, uh, Nikal said. And he has laid the cut out of the back <laughs> by saying that, you know, the court said, if you do an election in the same way, we will do the same thing by rejecting the election. So what's going on? They are making sure that the election is done in the same way last time, so that they go back to court. Okay. You know, they have, they have, they have let, but let, 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 let me say this. Okay. When they, uh, but let me, no, no, you've not allowed me to, you've just answered uh, something small. But let me, let's go back to 
the safety for Kenyans. Now, we, what we are saying is, number one, if you look at uh, uh, what they are doing to make election not credible by causing chaos, who is doing chaos in this country? Mm -hmm. It is NASA. In fact, uh, uh, Okembo has said already that that uh, those problems are in NASA zones. Who are precipitating resignation in in, uh, in IBC? It's NASA. <laughs> in fact, that lady must have been under immense pressure from NASA to resign. I'm, I'm even telling you, there are also rumors that there are some other commissioners under really immense pressure. And leave alone commissioners. Even returning officers are under immense pressure from NASA quarters to make sure that they resign to create chaos. You know what they want? They one international community to come in and call for dialogue. Okay. And you know what's dialogue? Dialogue is some, some okay. That is what they want. We're not going to skip me. Um, <coughs> we will find there, there is something, there's something that um, but not Dr. Not Dr. Dr. Nikal said we'll that, I, that I think was very telling. <laughs> and he said that we, the, you know, NASA was very happy with the elections until the numbers started coming in. And um, then, of course, they were shocked because the numbers that they were expecting were not the numbers, or perhaps the numbers that they had, the security that they were going to get, maybe because the Rosa Nakombes were in, uh, in IBC, did not materialize, did not come forth. But, you know, he keeps on, to, he, he mentioned, you know, facts of life. One of the facts of life is that numbers don't lie. And when you look at what, it, what has happened uh, between 2013 and 2017, vis-a-vis -vis the, the political dynamics and the, the, the changes, it is so easy to see why uh, NASA was beaten by 1.4 million votes. I mean, all the areas, that, enough areas that were in, um, in opposition before are not so much in opposition, or at least uh, they've hemorrhaged a bit. Uh, Taita Taveta, uh, Ukambani, uh, the coastal strip, and all that's happened, in fact, in a way, this whole fiasco has been a blessing in disguise because they continue on a daily basis to lose, to weaken their strongholds. Um, and one of the reasons is while they continue to perpetuate chaos, we continue to campaign. Um, this this whole Akomba thing, and I think perhaps we're giving it a lot more weight than it really deserves, it is part of their plan. Yet it uh, has the potential, if at all it continues and it gets to other commissioners, it has the potential to ensure that there's no election. Well, if, 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 and I don't, I don't believe it will get to that point. They've talked about this tsunami, or Rango had mentioned a tsunami. Um, he mentions a tsunami, and there Raila goes ahead and he's, he withdraws and he says he's not going to the ballot. A week later, a combe resigns. So there is a possibility that they're coercing, they're possibly even intimidating, or uh, pressurizing, or bribing even, trying to buy uh, resignations from the IBC. It is possible. At the end of the day, the Constitution is very clear. Until the president resigns and hands it over to the deputy president, until the president dies, or until another president is duly sworn in, the president of the Republic of Kenya remains the sitting president. Okay. So, uh, you know, elections, no elections. Uh, and there's no reason why there shouldn't be elections. Uh, the, the, the we will, we will still have the president. And is <laughs> there is not side. even a slice I, I, of bread. Not that's, 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 that's what he's itching for, um, calling it other things. You know, honest. you know, you know I'm, I'm surprised, <laughs> and I'd actually mentioned this during the break, that uh, my two sisters here, and even my brother there, seems to be living in utopia. No, they they are thinking <laughs> in terms of, like what my dear sister said there mm -hmm. about when you're, you perceive your life to be in danger, mm -hmm. that you go and tell the police, this is Kenya. This is where you would even be afraid of going to the police. Oh my God. There are so many people who have disappeared. Let us not try to cover up what is happening in this country. The truth is, this country is in a crisis. And the crisis has been created by all of us. And we ought to take responsibility for doing this. And I think it behooves us now to find a way to get out of this political crisis, not legal, uh, not legal uh, crisis. Because I think the Supreme Court pronounced itself clearly. And what IEBC ought to have done, in my view, and I stand corrected, is that when they were given 60 days, they should not have gone and interpreted Mutunga's decision on a scenario in terms of line 289 and 290 on how a new presidential election is held. What they should have done is that they should have carried out fresh nomination. Even though in the, in the law it says 90 days, then they should have tried to hold them within the 60 days. We will not have a, this problem. Number two, it is wrong for us to criticize uh, Akombe when she took it upon herself. She said, I tried. 
And I know in life, let you be accused of having failed, but never let you, yourself be accused of not having tried. She did try, but then she kept on questioning her role and what she can do, and she lived by the truth. And we know Martin Luther King once said, when evil men plot, good men plan. When my sister talked here about the fact that, you know, she was busy transporting her family out of the country, we remember very well that, and we are alive to the fact that the first time she attempted, or when she was trying to go to, uh, to her other job in the UN, she was stopped and held at the airport. So, for me, I would have done the same thing. If I perceived my family to be in danger, I would have used every means. I'll smile with you. There's a difference between coercion and seduction. I'll seduce you because you're coercing me to do things. So what is happening in this country is that we have a serious political crisis. Yes. We are not seeking for a Nusu Mukate. Let me correct that. We are not seeking for a Nusu Mukate. I think if we really care about this country, in my view, I would personally not participate in the 26th election. And I know most of the people who follow me will not participate in the 26th election. Okay. Let, let me finish. Let me okay. finish. Okay. Because it's my right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me finish this. Fine enough. So in this case, because we care about this country uh -huh. and we want to be able to participate <laughs> in posterity, what we ought to do now is that we need to sit on the table, not the international community. Yes. They should not that be the solution to our problems. We ourselves can solve our problems. Why understand. is it so difficult for Uhuru and Raila to sit together and solve this problem? Yes. We at NASA have said we're willing to have dialogue on a credible election, not Nusum Kate. Nusum and uh, Kate. if I may quote this paragraph from this statement by Rosalina Kombe, she says, it is critical that all political actors and the commission take a pause to review where we are leading this country it is not too late to save our country from this crisis. We need just a few men and women of integrity to stand up and say that we cannot proceed with the election on 26th October 2017 as currently planned. I know all the people on my panel uh, represent one or the other side of the political no, actually fight. It's one I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, interest. I'm no longer looking. <laughs> I'm no longer looking for your opinion about who's right, who's wrong, because <laughs> we will not we'll be heading nowhere. We want to uh, a way forward. Mm. Don't you think that some of the things, the issues raised by uh, Rosalina Kombe here, whether she's right or not in uh, taking this action, that they are genuine enough for us to take a pause and review what's happening? Sandra? Uh, now that one would be, would be now forget about her, her, her to one doing. side <laughs> of, the, of it but even before I answer that uh, perhaps it's important for us uh, to look through and truly a statement cannot be utopian simply because someone does not uh, agree with it you know it, it can't be utopian simply because it does not uh, advance your line of thinking and the problem with that is uh, given the statement that we have made it could be perceived as though we don't care about what is happening what I meant and what and what I need to clear up is that if indeed uh, there were threats to her life, that is terrible. Uh, she needed to take particular actions. But then given the environment in which we live in, where we have seen uh, politicians and other actors uh, feigning kidnapping, kidnappings, feigning yeah. threats to their lives, that then also raises questions as to the genuinity, genuinity of the issues that she, she has raised. But then moving forward, and Fred, I like your question because that's what I asked from the beginning. What exactly de determines a credible election? Because for us, I think we are getting to a point where we we express our desire for something but then we are not clear on exactly what we want so in this instance what defines a credible election is it when all NASA's demands are met, or when some of NASA's demands are met, is it when uh, the IBC is able to give us a perfect election? So perhaps with my colleagues in the panel, once we get a clear idea of what credibility means exactly, not from a NASA point, not from a Jubilee mm -hmm. point, not from a Rosalina Kombe point, then we then will be able to move Rosalina forward. Rosalina Kombe is, a, uh, is uh, at least even Was. according to the signing of this, uh, uh, she is signed as Commissioner IEBC. Mm -hmm. uh, knowing this uh, uh, a, a statement uh, curiously uh, she said she has resigned mm -hmm. uh, but she has said she's had to leave her position at the IEBC yet she signs it as commissioner IEBC she's used the IEBC letterhead uh, but she is raising probably she's speaking like any other Kenyan out there who says yes there's a problem I know NASA and Jubilee cannot agree right now you don't like each other but Every other Kenyan down there, beyond you politicians and those people who uh, uh, lead in supporting those two individuals, 
Kenyans need a way forward, Dr. James Nikal. And, and I agree, and, uh, and uh, I, I, I know I'm a politician. Sometimes I feel like maybe I shouldn't be described like that because if you take that view of life, then it is like you can go with perceptions and uh, appearances as, as reality. But there's the reality of life, I said earlier. The reality of life in, in Kenya now, there is need to take stock and find a way forward. All the other things, whether the legal processes, technical processes, must then be based on the agreement by Kenyans, the, the, their leaders politically taking the role, the leading role, and saying this is a way forward. And that way forward cannot take place unless people sit and talk. And that is where we have come with the issue of dialogue. Now, for, for reasons I don't understand, dialogue has been made to look ugly that it is looking for Nusumkati. In my view, that is also a ploy to stop Kenyans from talking. Because if you want to talk, all you are looking for is Nusu Mkati. I can tell you from our side, uh, we don't want Nusu Mkati. What we want, can we sit down, look at the issues that we have in IBC, talk about it at high leadership level, and agree what matters in the end is the life of Kenyans. Not even who is the president or who is the leader, but if that process will bring that. It brings us to credibility. Credibility has two components. If you are doing uh, something like an election, the processes themselves, how they are carried out, those are physical credibility. So you can say it is credible. But at the same time, they must be seen by people generally in the whole country as this is credible and acceptable. Now, the only way then to engage everybody and get through a process that then is credible is go around and say, what are your fears? What are you afraid of? Why don't we go this way? If it is in within the, the, the functioning of IBC, the structure of IBC, can we do it? And remember, this country has done that many times when we have a problem. In 2007, 2008, people went out and had a dialogue even if it was led by people from outside and so on. And then came back and said, this is agreeable. And then the accord became a law. Now, even if you go back to 97, there was a problem. There was the IPPG when people could not agree. People went out, out of the, the structures of parliament, discussed and agreed and came back. And we had a solution. Even just before the election, when we are talking, for example, about the, the uh, party hoping, you remember there are a lot of uh, very heated arguments. Again, people went outside, had discussions, then came, and then they embedded this in, in law. So all I'm saying, it is time. The court, we cannot, just, the court said 60 days, but even long before that, we should have said, Okay, within that six days, what should be done? NASA's position has always been, will always be, the things that need to be corrected should be corrected before we go to that election. And the, and the Supreme Court judgment implied it, mm -hmm. even if he didn't say it. So I think to, to demonize dialogue as a, as, as a, as a, a pursuit of Nusumkati is actually very bad for this country. I hear it a lot from the deputy president. Sometimes I wonder, he's the one who always comes with Nusumkati, Nusumkati, Nusumkati. My view is the deputy president does not want dialogue in this country that will bring peace. Okay. Uh, Jubilee, you've been uh, accused over and over of not being interested in dialogue. Uh, yet, there's, there doesn't appear any other way of uh, coming out of the current crisis, even if we go to the poll, uh, to the election on October 26th, at some point we'll still be forced to come back to the table to resolve some of these things. Uh, don't you think uh, that uh, that insistence that there cannot be dialogue is a bit misinformed? You see, that's misunderstanding, that there cannot be dialogue. That is not correct. And to insinuate that uh, Jubilee is not ready for dialogue is also wrong, right? You know, where we are coming from and where we are going, we're going to an election. And remember in the movie, let me also share with you that elections, there are no consensus. 
in elections. Mm -hmm. That's why you it's a competition. That, that must be understood. If it was consensus, then there was not going to be election in my constituency. Mm -hmm. Maybe my people could have sat down and said, look, you know, I'm saying today, the other day, the other person. It is competition. And in that competition, there are people who are, who are genuine and there are people who are not genuine. In, in the case where we have taken to, our, our friends from the other side have shown completely mm -hmm. no genuineness at all. And that's why we have said, as, as a jubilee and as people who love this nation, let the consensus, the, the, uh, consensus one or A be election on 26. Let's finish. That is actually a consensus within the people of Kenya. Let the people of Kenya vote. And in fact, Article 38 of the Constitution uh, is very clear in terms of it's not compulsory for you to vote. But you cannot intimidate others or subvert or, or buy others and, 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 and make sure that people don't vote to achieve your own agenda. Mm -hmm. That's I think, I think one. Yeah. And therefore, we are saying from our side, let us go to the election which has been provided for. Let us, after we finish that dialogue with, with the people of Kenya, the people of Kenya will have spoken. Then after that now, we go. You know where we find a problem in Dimuli and the people of Kenya? Our friends from the other side are geared towards subversion. They want to break the law. Where we are asking Kenyans and where we are going is, how can we allow somebody who is geared towards breaking the law to want to enjoy from the same law that is breaking? And that is very clear. Who is doing these demonstrations? It's NASA. Why did the uh, uh, right honorable Odinga resign? Although people say this is right or, or withdraw himself from the election. He didn't withdraw himself from the election for purposes of getting something good, but to create chaos. You know, but thank God, Matifo said there's somebody else also on board, <laughs> and that is, I think, that is where they are running helter skelter. <laughs> they wanted to start demonstration so that the country looks like it is uh, ungovernable to attract the national community to come in. Okay. And in fact, going further, the reason why also he went to UK was to try to paint a bad picture of this country and say, you know what, Kenya is in crisis, Kenya is in turmoil, Kenya, and, and showing those pictures of demonstration to attract people to come. But the international community now in the Muli are not interested. They are saying it is NASA who is causing these problems. In fact, some NGOs have written to ICC and said, look, you know what, there are some people who are, who are perpetrating crime. Can you watch them? Therefore, international community is seeing them as perpetrators of crime. And that's why they have come back. Okay. And they will try anything this week because the demonstrations have not worked, they have now suspended it. Because they, they didn't make them to achieve the, the, what they desired, which is to bring the national community. Okay. Now what is going on is, and make sure that people resign, <coughs> and when they resign, create crisis, and have those international community come and negotiate for them, Anusumkate. They will never run from Anusumkate. Okay. That is what they want. And uh, even as we continue this discussion, we continue beaming pictures from uh, Mudaiga uh, at the residence of uh, businessman Jimmy Wanjigi, where that police raid uh, continue to create, uh, that, uh, took place. Uh, more than 48 hours ago, I think it ended early this morning. Uh, Raila Odinga is still at that home. Uh, he's yet to emerge, and um, uh, we still wait to hear what will happen after that. Uh, coming back to the discussion, um, when they, uh, uh, with all this discussion, with all this uncertainty, are you uh, are you sure? What makes you so sure that you're going to have an election process come 26th, and that that process? will be will have some finality to it that yes it will come and kenya after that will be comfortable moving forward well before i answer your question fred let me let me touch on the issue of dialogue because that seems to be uh, an overarching concern um jubilee has and always will accommodate dialogue when the nasa side started complaining about the ibc jubilee listened they had a problem with the commissioners. The institution was completely revamped. They had a problem with the technology. The technology was changed. Um, at every given moment where they, have where they have expressed concerns related to the election, they have been accommodated. I, I think, in fact, that the Jubilee side has been way too accommodating and way too soft. Uh, in, in an earlier press conference this morning, uh, ODM, NASA held, held a press conference and Wamalwa said in fact no 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 they do not want Nusumkate they want the whole loaf and and it's very evident because at any given moment they've been trying to change the goalpost these irreducible minimums they were very clear that even if all the reducible minimums were met they would still not accept to move on so there is a constitution in place 
Kenyans do need to move on. Our economy is in shambles. The, you know, from the top to the bottom, businessmen to the mamambogas are suffering. Our tourism industry is suffering. I feel sorry for my own kambas because that's kind of, you know, we're this tourism and, and, and hospitality industry. And we, we, uh, we need our jobs. Um, children need to sit for exams without having to worry about the stability. A diplomat are already leaving the country. Um, we do need to move on. And the sooner we move on, the better off this country will be. I think that there is this notion, this, this fallacy, that in order for us to have an election, Raila has to be on the ballot. He has decided to withdraw. So withdraw in peace. I don't know if, if why you're withdrawing and then calling for protests. Move on. There are other people on the ballot. Okay. And each of those people have their own supporters. So let those who support uh, Ekuru go out and vote for him. Let those who support Tanyaga go vote for him. Let no, those of no, us who support Uhuru, Ka Uhuru yeah. Kenyatta go vote for him. And those are the people that are saying, we will be at the ballot on the 26th. Now, what informs you that this uh, process on the 26th of October is a process that will have some finality in as far as Kenya being able to move on? Because people are going to come out in droves and vote. Perhaps not the way we saw it before. But there's a sense of fatigue and there's a sense of anger among the Kenyans. Everybody wants to just put an end to this. People will show up. People will vote. And we know just based on what has happened in the past few weeks that... Uh, if Jubilee had good numbers before, those numbers, the gap will even be wider. Uh, again, if uh, the NASA side decides to withdraw, there are other people on the ballot. We will vote in this president and the deputy president again, and Kenya will move on. <laughs> they intend to, to bring chaos all, you know, even afterwards. Uh, they intend to try to legitimize now the presidency. It's, you know, in Kiswahili we say, Asiyukubali kushindu asim shindan. I mean, enough is enough. Senator, uh, you, NASA insists there will still be no election come 26th of October. Uh, with this resignation of Rosalina Combe, do you feel that your position has been uh, given more ground? Do you feel uh, you're now in a better position to insist that uh, there will be no election come 26th of October? It's not about being given good grounds or better grounds. The truth is this country is in a crisis, and I keep repeating that. And we can differ. Like Martin Luther King once said, we can differ but still unite for a common good. That is the question that we ought to be asking. Because what is happening right now, we cannot ignore the fact that Raila Amolo Odinga uh, has a follower, a follow, uh, you know, people that follow him who are probably 8 million out of the 19, uh, the 19 million who votes. So this country is divided. There is no way that we can have tomorrow a political tomorrow without trial in the ballot. So in my view, the 26th, we cannot hold an election because this country is getting you know, further, further, further down the drain than actually making any progress. So what we ought to do now is to agree that the first thing is that we as NASA have come out very clear and said we are willing to hold dialogue, not on some Kate, but on a credible election. That's issue number one. Number two, we ought to agree that the biggest problem we have right now is political power interest. And we know from history, from different revolutions or different countries, political power is gained by you participating in a political process and be voted for or being voted against. When you come out as a winner, then you can say you enjoy political power. The problem we have right now is that we are forgetting that this country is divided way down the middle. So the best thing we can do yes. is to agree that the 26 is out of the way. And the question was, do you feel now that uh, the resignation by Rosalina Combe further justifies your position that there will be no election on 26? No, I don't. I, 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 believe, I think what it does is that it reinstates and actually it puts more credibility to what we have been saying. We have been saying that this process is flawed. We have been saying the IBC is not ready. It is not about her position, but it's just been saying, in fact, it's like when you have a, a tomb uh, or a coffin and you have uh, the last nail. What she just did is that she actually just pressed a button and, and uh, whether it's a hammer or hit the nail on the head and on say, Raila's what comment. I have been <laughs> saying... No, no, uh, that's what, no, no, that's, that's a very, very no, bad no, I don't mean it literally. Let's, let's not go there. No, no, so what I've been saying is this. Politically, politically it is. Uh, so for me to finish, my view is that let us now find a way to unite 
for the common good of this country. Okay. Let us find a way that it is not, it is either my way or the highway. Okay. Sandro Chola, uh, the resignation of one commissioner does not necessarily mean that the election process will not go on. There are still six commissioners. Uh, do you think the six will stick together uh, for the next seven days and ensure that that process on the 26th will continue? Uh, I think that's the prayer of majority of Kenyans, that mm -hmm. indeed they will stick together so mm -hmm. that uh, we can uh, move through this process and uh, for me the reason as to why it's important for us to hold this election because in one way or another one of our ways of moving through a political process is through elections they can be acrimonious they can be issues here and there but for us it provides some uh, it provides a way forward and provide some clarity on how we can move on with our political process. And so it's good for this country that we hold those elections, just like we did on, other, on August 8th. We didn't, go to the next, we didn't go to the August 8th election with a perfect environment. And we'll never find perfect, perfection, and yet that is what we are all looking for. If we didn't do it with perfection on August 8th, it's not to mean that come October 26th, someone is going to wave a magic wand and all our issues are going to, uh, and all our issues are going to be resolved. So what we need to look, uh, to look back at have we made any progress from August 8th post the Supreme Court uh, decision to now? What progress have we made to ensure that Kenyans are given what they desire as, pa as far as um, exercising their political rights? What is left for us to ensure that we are addressing these issues that we are now uh, looking at so that we move forward? From the NASA side, there's still a lot of talk about Chiloba must go. And yet we have court decisions that say that Chiloba should stay in office. And so that raises the question, if they're going, he's giving me the side eye. Yeah. If they're yeah, I'm wondering, <laughs> court decisions? Yes. Yes. Which court yes. decisions? Yes. 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 There's a high court, there's a high court decision. Yes. There's a high court decision, decision that said... <laughs> you people took Chiloba to court. Yes, to there's be, a high court decision that said it. So many cases in Nankamba, which was a bad order. We'll all speak in Nankamba. Thank you. Thank you. And just for clarity on that matter, there is a court case. From a man, she can hold out. Anyway, uh, Sandra, uh, please uh, <laughs> Yes. So many cases you Protect her, please. Yes. Yeah. Enough, enough, uh, enough cases that are saying that Chiloba should stay in office. Yeah, and for the information of, my, of, of the two, it was <laughs> delivered by uh, Mutiva, I think, mm -hmm. that stated that in the event that Chiloba has to leave office, it has to be through processes. So perhaps this argument that you are still having that uh, certain uh, uh, individuals, uh, certain measures should be taken against particular individuals, I think it is still misinformed and is taking us further, further, further down. Down the drain. Okay. Dr. James Nikal, uh, of course, from NASA's position, I know you want to react to that, but from NASA's <laughs> position, uh, you do not want an election on October 26th. You will not be part of it, and you say it will not happen. One commissioner has resigned. If two more resign, then it makes the job very easy for you. Yes, because a quorum will have gone below the five uh, person mark. Yes, two more commissioners. Uh, do you think it's possible that we could have more resignations from that commission to, uh, and uh, thereby ensure no election on 26th? I'm not very good at speculation from my background. <laughs> I, I prefer to use facts. I don't have information. Is it something you would push for, for more resignations in the commission? Mine is to look at why Akombe resigned. Not that Akombe resigned. What reasons did she give? Now, the reason she gives is that she, she, she has stated very clearly there are problems within IBC and within the country that makes it impossible to do what will be called a credible election. Now, that is where we start. And NASA position has always been there are changes that need to be made in IEBC to make the process go on, and we have been on that. Now, there's been a question that has been raised. Why withdraw and continue with protest? Now, therein lies our need that this country moves forward with a credible process. Even though we know we are not going to eat, we still want a good process. Because if there is a good process, then there is a possibility, there is a higher chance that we then will have, as you are saying, uh, a result that will bring this to finality. If we then just go forward with it without this, that it should not be assumed that it's only NASA. You, you, do, you, you, you may not know, but other people may start to say, well, this wasn't credible. So if you have not done everything properly, you are going ahead with merely hoping, praying, you must do something to, 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 to 
the best. What we really need to look at, will the election process bring finality so that we have harmony in the country, the business is going on, and so on, and so on, as we are saying. There's something we seem to be missing, that the real, what I'm seeing is, particularly Jubilee, is fighting to retain state power. We are more worried about the state. You see, as I explained the other day, the state is made of the constitution, is made of the boundary has been drawn, is made of the laws that are in place. But there is something called a nation, which apparently in Kenya we have never strived to create a nation. A nation exists in the hearts and the minds of people when they feel in this, in this area, I'm part of it, I feel comfortable, we can compete, but in the end, I know this is my country, I want to be there, I want to live here, I want my children to be here. You belong to it. That can only be created by making sure that when you, when you have a process, the process is inclusive. To just insist, let me just end on this one, that whether half the country is not satisfied with what you are doing, you are going ahead because what you need is an election. It's actually pretentious okay. for the objective that we all desire for people who live in this country called Kenya. Yeah. In a short while, we'll be taking another break. We need to take the conversation forward. We do understand the president could be signing electoral laws amendment bill uh, any time today. That could change the game as well. It's not uh, NASA, NASA has already suspended uh, the anti-IBC demonstrations uh, in honor of those people who died uh, during the demonstrations who were shot and injured and some of them died. We'll still uh, need to follow up on that trade on Jimmy Wanjigi's house in Mudaiga plus we could also get a link from uh, all the way in Dubai I remember Rosalind Akombe was supposed to be in Dubai uh, supervising the printing of the ballot papers our reporter Sam Gituku is there uh, probably will get to hear what's happening there in the absence of Rosalind Akombe as well my panelists are still in studio let's take a break now